Hello and welcome to Matt Clues with, and this week, hopefully without any Wi-Fi issues, I'm with Amanda Cooksey, everybody. Hello. Hi, how are you? I'm not bad, thank you. Not bad. Live from Nashville. How is it out there? Um, well, today it's kind of rainy and cloudy, but usually it's a uh, pretty bright and sunny here. So. Okay. That's, that's cool, to be fair, because we've, we've had a good period of sun and nice weather, and now it's just, yeah... The, the world has let us know winter is coming let's put it that way i know i'm not excited being from florida originally i'm just used to the sun all the time <laughs> <laughs> yeah i'm not surprised now i have to ask you um are you a fan of american football um i don't really watch a lot of sports so because <laughs> okay i've got to put out it because I, I am a miami dolphins fan oh my gosh that's awesome yeah so, i don't watch I don't watch a lot of sports, unfortunately. But okay, that's fine. If for the sake of this, do you want to say you're a Miami Dolphins fan as well? Yeah, or? I'll say I'm a Miami Dolphins fan. <laughs> <laughs> they go first. <laughs> uh, so, how have things been for you during, obviously, the period of the, of the last six months now that we've been through, obviously, with COVID and everything going on? How has that been for you, firstly, from a family and health point of view, but also for your music? Gosh, um, well, luckily my family has been fine throughout the whole thing, so I'm super blessed there. But, you know, music's definitely been, you know, difficult as well, just because for artists, you know, we can't really play any shows or haven't been able to for a long time. Now it's starting to pick back up here in Nashville a little bit. But um, for the first few months um, when COVID had just started, I was, I wanted to be more productive, but I felt just kind of not creative at the time. So I kind of gave myself some room to just breathe and do my own thing for a little bit, but um, was definitely writing still throughout um, the past few months. And I've been working on the new releases that I have planned and trying to do some la Facebook lives here and there just to keep active on social media. But it was definitely a hard time um, in general, so. Yeah, definitely. so how did things start for you and your music where did it all start where you play did you pick up a guitar as soon as you you know turned age three I don't know <laughs> what was it like well I did start playing piano when I was six years old wow and, I mean yeah my my parents you know got me lessons and everything and I was learning classical piano for a long time and uh, I used to sing in church when I was in middle school but it was always with you know, somebody else, because I was a super shy kid, believe it or not. I was like the shyest person on this planet. I know you feel. But, um, <laughs> I ended up taking vocal lessons and piano lessons from, from this guy, Ron Feldman, and he taught me kind of all I needed to know. And he, he found out that I was writing songs. I told him, you know, I have this little journal, like I do write songs and he wanted to hear them. And of course he told me, he was like, you know, you should really play these out somewhere, <laughs> or, like perform them. And so I ended up deciding to try out for this talent show um, at my school. And I was so nervous because there was like 500 people there. And I ended up, you know, making it into the talent show, performing and realized, okay, like this isn't so bad. I think I can do this. And just started playing shows around Florida, wherever I could. And um, I guess it was like my junior year of high school that I was looking into colleges and found Belmont University here in Nashville. And uh, my instructor, Ron, was like, hey, you know, you should really consider that um, if you want to pursue being a country music artist. And so I came here, loved it, fell in love with Belmont and um, ended up moving. And <laughs> Ron's been a big part of my journey because without him, I would have never been here. And unfortunately, he passed away right before I uh, moved to Nashville from brain cancer. So that was a definitely definitely a difficult time in my life with transitioning to a whole new place and then you know losing him but he forever lives on in all of my music so of course and obviously that you know that helps you to sort of spur you on a little bit more as well to do country music was country music always what you wanted to do was it just a natural sort of just yeah. weaved your way into it it's interesting because you know I never really listened to country music growing up but when I was in high school, I started getting more into it. And I loved like Jake Owen and I love Miranda Lambert. And I always had kind of a twang in my voice for whatever reason. <laughs> and um, so I just, I just fell in love with it. I fell in love with the songwriting um, 
style because in Nashville people are just so clever and creative with their ideas and just ended up um falling in love with it so <laughs> yeah no I know you mean I'm a massive fan of country music and obviously over here we are starting to pick it up now especially in the UK where there are a lot more sort of UK artists doing country music and doing well okay. over there as well for you being obviously a country artist in America you're American of course is it quite difficult to sort of try and find that identity in country music to be a little bit different um I think so I mean for me I it kind of took me a while to figure out who I was as an artist and you know I just took a few months um a couple years ago to just sit down and write by myself because in Nashville a big thing to do here is co-writing where you write with different people and I just really wanted to sit down and like actually figure out who I was and once I did that it kind of fell naturally into place where I was kind of finding this sound that was unique and its own thing and I, I think it took a few years for me to find that but when I finally did it just felt right and mm. I'm hoping uh, people love it. <laughs> yeah well you have found one fan I know that I came across a little video a certain Louis Tomlinson. Um... Oh my gosh yes. <laughs> From One Direction, of course. Um, we haven't heard of him over here. I don't know. Don't know. Yeah, I don't know about <laughs> it. <laughs> um, how was that? Oh my gosh, you just don't even know. Like my <laughs> direction or heart from my middle school days was exploding uh, when I found out that he saw my cover. Um, Glamour magazine just reached out, and it was interesting because I I wasn't sure if he had if he was one of or I was one of the people that he you know been able to see cover his song because they kind of made it a surprise so when they did a zoom with me one day they were like okay we have something to show you and they had the video of him watching this me cover his song and I was like this is crazy uh because I had done that video like years I think it was like a few years before yeah. they contacted me but it was a pretty surreal moment he was always one of my favorites in the band so <laughs> yeah it's great <laughs> are, you, are you just saying that because he saw it or was it really another thing no that was true 100 percent true when they first started releasing their videos to youtube i always thought he was hilarious so it was like full circle for me <laughs> <laughs> see we obviously we being like in the uk we had so much one direction i'm sure what the whole world did to be fair yeah. <laughs> growing up obviously you say you're a massive fan what was it like when when did it really one direction fever hit for you then oh god i mean as soon as they were a thing like <laughs> immediately in i was invested i remember one of my good friends showed me some of their videos and it was before they really had a lot of music out so i feel like i was kind of a fan from the very beginning um at least i like to say so i even went to one of their concerts like their first concert yeah. that they had their first album it was it was cool. So <laughs> I've, always, I've always been a fan. I'm trying not to fan girl too hard right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, of course. Have you met him yet? Oh uh, no, I've never met him, but that would be cool. Yeah. One day. So what's it obviously you say you're living in Nashville. Is that definitely your home now? What's it like? What's it like there? Um, well, it's it's pretty cool to live here because it's just you're surrounded by so many artists and creatives and being able to just immerse myself in this culture was so cool for me um, because in Florida, you know, we have like a little bit of a music scene, but it it's nothing like like Nashville. Mm. There's really nothing like Nashville, in my opinion. But um, I just started writing with as many people as I could once I moved here and started performing. And you really see how much talent there is when you start going to different shows and writers around here. And um, it's just a really cool place to live. And I've fallen in love with it for sure. Yeah. I, I really want to go and hopefully I can come over eventually when this is all passed over. Um, yeah. <laughs> so the new single, it's called What's His Name? Talk to us about that. Oh, man. Um, so... <laughs> no pressure. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, no pressure. <laughs> well, a year and a half ago, I went through this really bad breakup um, with one of my best friends. And I you know, wanted to write some songs about it naturally. Um, <laughs> and, uh, yeah, exactly. And so it was actually funny enough, the title didn't come from 
the breakup. I was just talking to one of my co-writers one day and he couldn't remember somebody's name. So he kept saying, what's his name? And he looked at me and was like, wait, that is like an awesome song title or writing that. And so, you know, I happened to be going through this breakup and we just made it work kind of to where we dug into those emotions that day. And uh, it was so fun because I was going through a really hard time, but the guys I wrote it with made it so much so much easier and so much just just a fun time in general so we just decided to write something kind of clever and fun and uh we hope that people love it so <laughs> yeah i do love the track and i'm so glad i found it let's uh, to be totally honest is that where all of your sort of tracks come from what sort of stuff do you like to write about is it all about that or is there you know other stuff that you just want to have fun with um Well, for me, I think I like to draw off experiences that I've had. Um, Definitely a lot about relationships and and things like that. It's just, I feel like it's easy to write about love and like what you're experiencing um, when you're going through it because there's so many different emotions. But I I really do like to pull from my experiences just because I think it it feels more natural and more real to me. I like being honest and vulnerable in what I say in my music. So that's always been like, kind of important to me as a writer to tell my story and as an artist so yeah now I did mention to you I'd been sort of not stalking your Instagram that sounds that sounds (laughs) not the right way to put it but you know I do my research so let's let's put it that way and yeah you said that you've been watching scary films back to back the other day I, I have now firstly obviously it's nearly Halloween it's getting there what films were they Okay, so I was watching the Halloween marathon that was on TV. So all the Michael Myers, yeah, old school throwback movies. <laughs> <laughs> I am, and he scares me, by the way. So I don't know. <laughs> it's probably a bad idea, and when I look back at it, so <laughs> <laughs> I'm awful with like scary films. Like really, yeah, like horror films just don't do me well. I just, I just don't do it. I spend half my time like looking at my phone so just can't do it <laughs> see I love them like literally like every month is Halloween for me because I just start watching scary movies just for fun because it's I just love them <laughs> <laughs> then after that is Christmas it's coming I know and I'll still probably be watching scary movies <laughs> <laughs> are you more Halloween or Christmas then well, if I love Halloween Halloween's my favorite holiday I love like dressing up as different characters and I usually go all out around Halloween time so yeah maybe maybe you is there going to be a halloween song then maybe you should do a halloween song you know i have written a couple of different halloween songs and i i should try to release one one of these days (laughs) yeah i i I can i can see it coming i can i can do um (laughs) so what's your obviously there's a lot of things riding on the next year or so um depending on different situations whether it be here or especially where you are what what do you hope to get done in the next year what what let's look to 2021 what are you hoping to do single wise performance wise oh man that i could do so much honestly <laughs> <laughs> music is always something you know going on or something you mm. can be doing but um for me i really want to start playing more shows i've already um actually have a few things lined up for the next month or two and I definitely want to be releasing more music. I do have a couple more singles that I'm looking to to put out into the universe soon, but I'm trying not to say too much about it because I kind of want it to be a surprise. But, um, you know, What's His Name came out and I'm hoping to release one either in the next couple months or early next year. It hasn't been decided yet fully, but I'm definitely working on a project and um, just continuing to write songs. I mean, I'm pretty much writing now for like, the next the next thing so it's yeah kind of crazy because i wrote what's his name over a year ago and it just came out so <laughs> you know, it's funny because i'm working on new music that i love too and you know people won't get to hear that for a, probably another year or so but <laughs> <laughs> it's fun it's all fun it's exciting times do you hope to come over to the uk maybe soon oh gosh i would love to i would love to come over there i mean it's a dream so We'll make it happen somehow. <laughs> make it happen. I'll do. I'll do my things my end, and and yeah, yes, happen yeah. your end, and then we'll, we can we can sort it out. It's fine. Exactly. We'll figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me today. It's been an absolute pleasure to chat. Um, Thank you. All the much. best, and look forward to hearing more more music very soon. Yes. Thank you so much for having me, and 
Thank you to everybody that uh, tuned in for this.